Hi, this is John Leslie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you an example of an entire company running in Fabro. Over here, we have a couple of sample collections. I'm going to be taking you through an executive collection, an IT collection, marketing, operations, HR people operations, and a couple of development teams, and finally, a sales team. So starting with executive, here's an example of an executive backlog. You can see we have it broken down into new business opportunities, enablers, marketplace changes, so on and so forth. Over here on the right, we have a couple of what are called boards in Favro. So we have an executive Kanban board, and you can see we also have a marketing roadmap that's been shared by the marketing team's collection. So the idea here with the executive backlog is that once you're ready to work on a particular business initiative, you'd simply take that initiative, drag it and drop it onto this executive Kanban board. And here you can see that it stays in both places. So you can track it from the backlog or on the board. And as this progresses from selected to analysis, to implement, all the way through to review, eventually live and retrospective, you're able to track that in both places thanks to relations. Every single board in Favro has three different views or three different toggles. Here we're looking at the Kanban view and we can switch that to a Sheets view that looks like this. Columns can be added specific to this board, the Sheets board on the fly. Here are the different columns that can be added, column types that can be added. And the third toggle of the same cards is a timeline or roadmap view, where here these different initiatives, these same cards representing business initiatives can be manipulated on a timeline. You can drag and drop to extend the timeline, move them on the timeline board, rearrange them, whatever you choose. Now let's quickly take a look at an information technology IT teams collection. Here you can see they have their own backlog of IT projects that they'd like to complete sometime in the future. If we collapse that, we can see that those projects, once they're ready to be worked on, can be dragged and dropped and committed to this IT projects board where they can track the flow of those projects from start to finish. Working in more of a Kanban way, you can see that their support tickets are entered into the support queue, the first column on this Kanban board, and those will flow through each stage assigned to people as work is being done. All the way through eventually to closing those support tickets. Now let's take a look at a marketing team's collection. Here you can see they have their own marketing backlog of, in this case, maybe all of the marketing campaigns that they want to complete uh, currently and sometime in the future. At the very top, they have a marketing roadmap. They'll always be looking at this particular board probably in the roadmap or timeline view. A marketing board where they're taking those marketing campaigns dragging and dropping them from the backlog again onto the board and having those flow through to completion. Here we have a good example of what a content card would look like. So we've got this fully fleshed out with tags. We can color it. We can set the status. A quick campaign brief, a checklist, maybe some concept images and some sample copy. Comments by any team member that's a part of this collection can be added on the fly. So these cards representing the work that needs to get done, whether it's a campaign or a business initiative, are truly living collaborative documents. Now let's look at an example of an operations collection. Here you can see we have a supplies work board and a very simple timeline for a particular office move. Now let's look at a people operations or HR collection. Here you can see we've got this board broken down 
each column representing a different department. So we can see the members or employees that exist in those departments. A simple example of an employee information board, maybe a board that lists open positions, and maybe a recruitment Kanban where we can see people who uh, we have selected resumes, scheduled interviews, background checks, offers all the way through to who actually gets hired. For development teams, we can have a more traditional product backlog, everything that's going to make up a particular solution or application, those things being worked on, on, in this example, a sprint board. Maybe they're listing their escape bugs in a separate board. A second product development team, this team has chosen to work in more of a Kanban flow. And finally, a sales team where they might have a backlog or a list representing all of their leads. And they might have a separate list or backlog representing all of their customers. So a full customer database, if you will. Those leads can be dragged on to a sales process or sales pipeline board where you can track those leads all the way through to initial contact, call scheduled, demo, negotiation, and either won or lost all the way here at the end of this particular pipeline board. Also within this collection, we have an example of scheduled sales events. Events could be added on the fly like this. Now I'd like to show you a couple of the unique aspects of Favreau that allow work to flow through different departments, through different collections. If we go back up to the executive collection, say we wanna see the information technology or IT department's backlog. We click on that plus button, say add from another collection, and we can simply add the IT project backlog. So this now becomes more, even more of a dashboard collection at the executive level where we can see exactly what the IT team plans to be working on now and in the future and the status of those projects at a high level. So say we have done the analysis, for example, on move to Microsoft SQL Server, and we know that's something we actually wanna do. So we'll move that maybe into the implement column and since cards can exist in multiple places within Favro, the same way that boards and backlogs can exist in multiple collections, we can drag and drop this card onto the IT project backlog. Now move to Microsoft SQL Server exists both here on the executive Kanban. You can see thanks to relations that it is also in the IT project backlog. And since this is the same IT project backlog that's in the information technology collection, they automatically now have a new project to work on, estimate, and plan for sometime in the future. So there you have it. Now you have an example of an entire enterprise running in a single app. Thanks and good luck with Fabro.